I only started this channel about a week ago, and since then I've uploaded a couple of videos. But as a result of that, three or four of my friends have independently asked me the same question. And so I thought today I'd make a video to answer that question. The question was very simple. Why does my glass go cloudy in the dishwasher and what can I do to prevent it? Now, I wasn't going to talk about glass yet, I'll be honest. But anyone who knows me knows that I'm quite passionate about glass. I used to be technical director of a glass factory in China, making for a number of, of global retailers. And it's kind of my pet subject. There are, in fact, lots of different glasses, including metallic glasses. But of course, we are talking about domestic glass, where things like glass tumblers, um, glass wine glasses, etc. Um, and I'm sure most of you know, probably all of you know, that the core raw material or ingredient in this glass is sand. Sand that you might find on the beach. Now it's pure sand, it's quite clean, but in the end it is just sand. And making glass is a bit like making a cocktail. What you do is you take your sand and you add other ingredients to flavour the glass as you want. So if you want some colour, you add some raw materials to colour the glass, either purple or blue or red or whatever you want. If you want the glass to be softer, you add some lead. Um, so the way in which you mix this cocktail or raw material can dramatically affect the properties and appearance of glass. But that doesn't actually answer why glass goes cloudy in the dishwasher. And by the way, in the industry, this cloudiness is called bloom or blooming. But for us, it's cloudiness, where the glass and the appearance of the glass gradually becomes faded and, and cloudy, a bit like a frosted window, perhaps. Well, the answer is very simple. The detergent that you use in the dishwasher, when mixed with water in the dishwasher, is actually corroding or attacking the surface of the glass over time. And the more that you wash this, this glass in the dishwasher, the more that surface is attacked, and gradually you begin to notice that the glass is going cloudy as a result of that surface being attacked. Now, what actually happens? Well, the glass, when it's made, has a relatively smooth surface. Even on a microscopic scale, you'll see a few pits and bumps, but it's, it's relatively smooth. And when light shines through the glass, although the shape of the glass will, will distort the light slightly, it's unaffected by this flat, smooth surface. However, in a dishwasher, the tablet that you use is naturally alkaline. Soaps are naturally alkaline. What is alkaline? Well, it's the opposite of acid. So if you take a vinegar, for example, vinegar that you might have in your kitchen, that is an acid. And soaps, detergents, etc., are the opposite. They're alkaline. And alkaline does not go well with glass. It attacks the surface of the glass. And the more alkaline the environment or the water in the dishwasher, the more quickly it attacks the surface of the glass. So every time you put your glass in the dishwasher, you put your detergent in the dishwasher, it mixes with the water. That water comes in and effectively gradually corrodes or wears away the surface of the glass. It actually dissolves the surface of the glass, rather like um, rusting almost, although rusting is actually adding material, whereas with this corrosion you're taking that material away into the water. So what that means in, in practical terms is that on a microscopic scale, this glass goes from looking relatively smooth to something that looks much more like sandpaper. And gradually those lumps and bumps, that sandpaper becomes so significant that it can start to interfere with the light as it goes through the glass. And it actually starts scattering the light. And when light is scattered randomly, um, the surface that's scattering it will begin to appear cloudy. That's the vision effect of effectively light being scattered by this this lumpy, bumpy, sandpapery type surface. So that's actually what is causing the cloudiness of your glass. And the more you dishwash it, the older the glass gets, obviously, gradually, the cloudier and cloudier it becomes. So what can you actually do to stop this happening? Well, I'm afraid once it's happening, you can't reverse the process. You can reduce it, you could even stop it, but you can't reverse it. So there are three main preventative things that you can do to stop this attack. The first one, it's not going to be popular, I'm afraid, but it is, it is an option, is to hand wash your glasses instead of using a dishwasher. Now, I accept no one wants to do that. I don't do that. These never, ever get hand washed. So let's move very quickly on to the second option. The second is to choose a dishwasher detergent which is specifically designed for glasses. 
they, they are out there. They may be a little less alkaline. They may be formulated specifically to be gentler to glasses. And they will generally be marketed as kind to glass or sold as delicate action, something similar like that. Um, I would also mention at this stage that dishwashers don't just attack the surface of your glasses. They also attack the surface of plates. Plates are glazed. I'm sure you know that plates are, are glazed. That's what makes them uh, smooth and easy to clean and resistant to staining by food, etc. But did you realise that that glaze is actually a glass? It's very similar, a little bit different in terms of its cocktail mix, but it's very similar to the glass that's used in this tumbler. So the surface of your plate is glass and it's attacked by the dishwasher detergent detergent in exactly the same way. As the plate is dishwashed and dishwashed and dishwashed, gradually the surface is, is dissolved, abraded and dissolved, and becomes rougher and rougher and rougher. Now, that doesn't necessarily matter visually because you don't see light coming through the plate and therefore you don't see it becoming cloudy. But you actually may see it becoming cloudy because if you have decoration under the glaze, that decoration may gradually become foggier or less distinct as the surface of the glass becomes sandpapery, becomes dissolved. So the light comes in, it bounces off the ceramic, it comes back out, and it's exactly as with the tumbler, it's scattered, and you get a slight clouding of the decoration underneath. The second problem that you might get with a plate as a result of this, this attack to the surface of the, the glaze is that as the glaze becomes more sandpapery, it actually acts like sandpaper. And I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes with some plates, you get what's known as metal marking. Whereas if you drag a knife across the surface of a plate, you get a sort of gray pencil line on the plate. And as that surface of glass becomes more and more attacked by the detergent over, it can be years, um, the metal marking becomes much more pronounced and easier to court. So it's not just a problem for tumblers and the visual of tumblers. It's also ultimately a little bit of a problem for plates as well, although perhaps to a lesser extent. By the way, these lines, these, these grey pencil lines, they can be removed fairly easily with usually a pencil rubber or something like that. It can take a little bit of elbow grease, but a pencil rubber, rub the lines, they'll, they will come off. It's, it's literally happening because the glass is about three times harder than the knife blade. So effectively, when you drag it, the knife blade across the glaze, it's literally cutting or abrading the metal and the metal stays on the plate. So the first thing to do is to consider hand washing. The second thing to do is to consider a different detergent, a detergent specifically designed to be gentle to glass. The third is to buy glassware which is naturally more resistant to blooming and it does exist on the high street but I'm going to talk about that in my next video. And I'm going to call that video, Why You Should Never Put Lead Crystal in the Dishwasher. Thank you.